Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to show you how to go ahead and use your fire stick to go ahead and surf the internet. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to set it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and surf the internet using your fire stick 4K, fire stick max, Amazon Cube, Fire Stick Lite, whichever device that you have for the Fire Stick, you could go ahead and hop onto the internet and go to your favorite web page. I am not associated with Amazon in any way, so let's get started. Right here on your home screen, go to the left, go to find, go down to search, type in the word internet. I can go ahead and type in IN. Internet's going to come up. Let's go ahead and click on that. Right here where it says searching apps, you're going to see internet. Go ahead and click on it. Now it's going to say Amazon Silk Web Browser. This is what we want to use. Download it. You own it. Let's go ahead and download it and then we'll come right back. After it has finished downloading, it's going to say open. Let's go ahead now and click on open. Amazon Silk. Here it comes, right up to the Bing.com web screen. Now you could go ahead and calibrate your display, but if you like it, just go ahead, go over to the left, click on cancel, and let's go ahead and continue to surf. Now let's go on up to the top. You automatically have a cursor that moves just by using your directional pad on your Fire Stick remote. Let's go ahead and click on it, and we'll go ahead and type in what we want to watch. So I typed in the word Facebook. Now after you type it in, go down to where it says go and click on it. Over here, it says log into Facebook. Scroll over to the left and go ahead and click on it. And it will bring us right to the web page that you want to be on. Now we're on the Facebook login. Here you will go ahead, put in your email or your phone number, your password, click on login. And now you'll be able to go ahead and surf on Facebook like you normally do either on your phone or your computer. So now that's how you go ahead and you surf the web using Amazon Silk. But a lot of people say, I don't like Amazon Silk. Okay, I'm gonna show you now how to go ahead and get Google Chrome. What you wanna do is go over to search again, click on search. Now, if you don't already have the program called Downloader, I'm gonna show you now how to go ahead and get it. Click on D, O, Here's Downloader right here. Let's go ahead now and click on Downloader. Under Apps and Games, Downloader appears. Let's go ahead and click on Downloader. Download, you own it. I'm going to click on it, and then we'll come right back. After it installs, go ahead and click on Open. Go ahead and click Allow. Go ahead now and click OK. Go up to the top here. And let's click on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in a URL. I'm going to leave it for a couple of seconds. You could go ahead and take a picture of it. And I'll also leave a link down in the description. I'm going to go ahead now and type in the link. So here you go. Here's the URL. Make sure you type it in correctly because if you don't, then it's not going to bring you to the proper download that you're going to need. Or it may say connection error. Let's go ahead now, after you type in the URL, let's go down to go and click on go. Here it's going to go ahead and connect, and you see that the file size is 64.4 megabytes. Let's give it a chance to download and we will continue. After it's finished completing this download, here it is now, it's going to bring us up where we could cancel and install. Click over to the right, and let's click on install. Once the app has finished installing, you get the message down the bottom right it says Chrome ready to launch. Click on the three lines on your remote and it will automatically open up. What we want to do first is just give it that download file so that way it doesn't take any room on your Fire Stick. So after the app has been installed, go ahead and click on Done. Click on Delete. Click on Delete again. This does not remove the program from your Fire Stick, just removes the file from the downloader app. Click on the home button on your remote. Let's go over to the right, 
to the three squares with the plus sign. Let's go ahead now and click on that. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and click on the three lines on your remote. Let's say move to front. While we're here, let's go down to where it says internet. Same thing, three lines on your remote. Click move to front. Now you have both of those internets right there on your main screen. Let's go back on the home screen. Let's go over to where it says Chrome and let's click on it. Let it open up. Say so you could take out that check mark if you want. That's perfectly fine. Let's go down to accept and continue. Once again, you will get the virtual mouse. You could go ahead now and type in your URL and you'll be able to go ahead and search your internet. If you do not get the virtual mouse in the Google Chrome, what you're going to need to do is download one of your own. Right here on the screen, you see that I have put in a URL. I'll leave it in the description down below. Once you type this in, go ahead and click on Go. Once you click on Go, it's automatically going to go ahead and start downloading. Go over and click on Install. Here you see it says Mouse Toggle for Fire Stick. Like before, let's go ahead and click on Done. Click on Delete. Click on Delete again. Let's click on the home screen. Let's go over to the right. Three squares and a plus sign. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's go over to this blue and white with the arrows in it. This is your mouse toggle. Go ahead and click on that. Once you have done that, go ahead and say Allow. And say OK. This will go ahead and put the mouse toggle into full motion for you. On the bottom left hand side, you'll see where it says status has started. That's what you want to see. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now that we're back on the home screen, let's go over to the right and let's go to the Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and click on it and open it up. As you can see right now, I do not have the virtual mouse, but we just installed the mouse toggle. On your remote of the Fire Stick, you double click on the play pause button real fast. Double click it. Here it will bring up a virtual mouse. With your directional pad on your Fire Stick, you can move it up and down, left and right. Once you have it, go ahead, you can click in, and then you could go ahead and type in the URL that you would like to do. Now let's go back onto the home screen. Once you have the virtual mouse, already installed, you do not have to go ahead and click on it to start. It will automatically be started every time you bring up your Fire Stick. Once you go into Google Chrome, you just click on the double click the play pause button and it'll go ahead and come right up. Nothing else you need to do. I hope you find this video very helpful to you. Please leave your comments down below. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.